Hey everybody, thank you for watching today. Um, if I talk kind of fast, I, I'm trying to get this out before I go to work, so please forgive me. Plus, I'm a little under the weather, so if you have trouble understanding me, I'm sorry. But just, I gotta get this out. I couldn't let this go. This is a video from one of my teammates on here. He's awesome, False Flag America. Uh, this guy does really great work, so if you haven't visited his channel, please do. But he put this video out today. As you can see, the title, March 2014, Radioactive Waters Coming to West Coast. Now, I, didn't, I don't want to steal his thunder, but I have to play this snippet because this is what inspired me to make this video. It's not very loud. I do apologize, but if you crank your speakers, you should be able to hear it. Fukushima is an enormous problem that's getting bigger. There are several hundred tons of radioactive water that are pouring into the ocean uh, at the site every day. That's nuclear engineer Dr. Arjun Makijani, president of the Institute for Energy and Environmental Research, who confirmed to me that ocean currents are carrying the radioactive water to the west coast. According to a study published in the journal Deep Sea Research One, it'll begin arriving this coming March. But Makijani says, don't panic. The radiation will be diluted, and levels found on the west coast are very low and not considered dangerous so far. All right, that's why I couldn't let that go. Now, I like how they, at least they finally told a little bit of truth, right? So here it comes, March 2014. So I'd also throw in, just, just to throw this in here for fun, that uh, I would expect some sort of nuclear false flag to take place between now and then, but who knows? But anyway, they let a little bit of truth in there, and then they try to cover it up immediately with this, oh, oh, well, the ocean will dilute it, so don't panic. And look, I'm not trying to get anybody to panic. I'm just telling you what's going on here. I just want to give you the facts. The ocean ain't going to do a darn thing. It's not going to dilute crap. This is an article from the Institute for Policy Studies that was that came out last year and it was written by Robert Alvarez. Now, who is Robert Alvarez? During the Clinton administration, he served as a senior policy advisor to the secretary and deputy assistant secretary for the national security and the environment. So how about we just call him one of the guys? He's in the club. And last year, he wrote this. According to a previously secret 1955 memo from the United States Atomic Energy Commission regarding concerns of the British government over contaminated tuna, dissipation of radioactive fallout in ocean waters is not a gradual spreading out of the activity from the region with the highest concentration to uncontaminated regions, but that in all probability the process results in scattered pockets and streams of higher radioactive materials in the Pacific. We can speculate that tuna, which now show radioactive uh, radioactivity from ingested materials have been living in or have passed through such pockets or have been feeding on plant and animal life which has been exposed in those areas. So does that sound like the ocean's just going to dilute it and there's there's no, no reason to be, even be preparing? And then it doesn't matter anyway because this is a report from the UN that came out last month that talks about Fukushima and if you go down to page 8 here it tells you this. An interesting fact for people living on the U.S. West Coast is also conducted, or I'm sorry, is also included in the report. Only about 5% of the directly discharged radiation was deposited with, within a radius of 80 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. The rest was distributed in the Pacific Ocean. 3D simulations have been carried out for the Pacific's basin, showing that within five to six years, the emission would reach the North American coastline with uncertain consequences for food safety and health of the local population. So in this report, after they said, hey, yeah, there's radioactive water coming to the coastline in March 2014, instead of saying the ocean's going to dilute it, so don't panic, what they should have just said is, it's real bad, and to be completely honest with you, we don't really know what's going to happen. So you might want to start preparing. That's just all they should, That's what they should have done. But you know how the mainstream media goes, about 1% truth and 99% fluff. And plus, I, I reported on this article last month, too, that came out from the Herald. The ocean is broken, and it's all about how the, the Pacific Ocean is just a big, it's a garbage dump. Because of the tsunami that came in and brought, took all that debris and just spit it out all over the ocean, which is indeed headed to the West Coast as well. And then supposedly the garbage, the, 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 the dumpster that the ocean now is, is, it's so bad that it basically has to be seen to be believed. And don't worry, the people on the West Coast and the rest of us are going to get to see pictures, but we're going to get to see it. So I'm not just trying to be, I'm not trying to be a downer, I'm just giving the facts. I mean, it's, it's just, it's, West Coast has got trouble coming. That's all there is to it. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Whenever I heard that, oh, the ocean will dilute it, I, I can't let that go. i got to report on that again. 
So I just wanted to, all these links will be below if anybody wants to verify this stuff. And I just want to throw this out there too. They finally came to, well, the world powers, as they're called, finally came to a, a nuke deal with Iran last night. And uh, Israel's pissed. And I just find this funny because one of the very, a couple, two years ago when I started researching, one of the very first things I came across was uh, I started looking into the web bot. And one of the very first reports I ever read talked about what was called the Israeli mistake, which is where Israel decides to go and bomb, I think, I think it's over in Iran, I'm not exactly sure where, but bomb somewhere, I'm sure it has to do with Iran. And they throw those bunker busters down there and hit the wrong target. And then they end up hitting some sort of nuke facility that leaks. And basically what ends up happening is that there becomes an, another Fukushima basically happens in the Middle East. And so then all the countries, including America, turn their backs on Israel and it's like, look, you know, you screwed up. And then a whole regional war breaks out. So we know that Israel has a report has come out that Israel is secretly working with, with Saudi Arabia for an attack on Iran because Saudi Arabia and Israel pissed that Syria was never dealt with by America and now America is not dealing with Iran. So Netanyahu comes out, he gets pissed off about the deal and says we will not allow Iran to have a nuclear weapon uh, capability, which they've said a bunch of times before. But uh, I just I could I'm not saying it's going to happen. I just see the realm of possibility out there that it's that's absolutely possible that that Israel goes at it alone, Saudi Arabia supporting them. And they uh, hit something that they're not supposed to. Well, you know, it's all planned. But either way, you just you know where I'm going with this. So I don't know if that's what's going to turn out out there. But I just wanted to, to point this out because they're making a big deal out of this deal. So that tells me it's all part of the plan and that we're supposed to see it. So well, at least those of us with the eyes to see and the ears to hear. So I wanted to throw that out there as well. We'll see what happens over there. But uh, I just want to get all this stuff out there. So if you like my video, please like my Truth Metal Band's Facebook page. I'm trying to wake up people through music too. So thanks to everybody for supporting me and the band. Thanks to all my teammates and subs as always. And thank you everyone for watching. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye.